Hey Lewis, right? So yeah. for today's preparation meal, like the, the segment for that, right. you know how I always come in your room and just kind of fuck with you? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to elbow drop you in your bed. No. No, you're not. You're not, you're not going to do that. You can't keep coming in here and fucking with me. Why not? For your fucking videos. It is, it is quite rude. Yeah, that fucking Quicksters burger hurt and my bed sheets still smell like fucking sweet and sour. But I don't even like sweet and sour. It's for the video, mate. I know it's, it's just for the video, but like... Mate, like, come on, come on. Lewis. I'm leaving, I'm fucking done. Lewis, mate, come I'm on. Leaving. It's for the yeah. video, man. Bro, come on, don't no, be like bro, this. Then. You Buddy. know I don't like sweet and sour. Come on, Jack, tell him. He, he did put it on his leaf when he moved in. Oh, man, come on, Lewis. It's a prank, bro. Okay. Lewis, where are you going, man? I'm going to a shop. Why? Bro, why do you need that many bags? Big shop. Lewis, mate, come on. Lewis! To be fair to him, Lewis does go on notoriously big shops. Can you get us a packet of Twiglets? Fuck you! Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Bregan Smigan and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I have two ready meals. However, the smart ones of you might realise I only have one mouth. So how on earth am I going to finish both these ready meals? Maybe I could use a little help. Please welcome Jack Maloney of No Correlation! <laughs> In a dress in front of me with the red lipstick that'll bring you to your knees. Match the carpet. Yeah, that chicken dinner, mate. Winner, winner. Funny. I, I love the chicken. Um, no, you don't. You have beef. I know, but I love the chicken and the sweet and sour. Ready meal, so. So, today we have Kershaw's home style beef and chicken dinner. And this is a microwave meal for £1.89 from our lo from not our local corner shop, from Lewis's local corner shop. And there's a there's a big selection of them. So as you can see, they're pretty much the same meal. This one has chicken. This one has beef. This one has a Yorkshire. That one has stuffing. I love stuffing. I love Yorkshire. So uh, these boys will take no time. At... Bloody hell! Cook on full power in the microwave for eleven to twelve minutes. I'm thinking they will take some. Mine time. says nine. Oh, well, that's a bit unfair. I'm quite I'm quite sad actually because Lewis Lewis is gone. He died. We went to the shop. All right, sorry. He's still alive, but he's dead to me. Let's get to the yeah. meals. Cool. Mm -hmm. He's asleep. Oh, Jesus. So, I'm sick of your shit, darling. I'm running away. Well, really. Oh, no. Just go, just go to the cooking part. <laughs> so, we've got the two dinners here, chicken and beef, and we're going to look at the nutritional information. So, for beef dinner, as you can see, 8 grams of fat uh, and 3.1 grams of salt. 
got a hell of a lot of protein there, 13.6 grams. Whereas in the chicken dinner, 2.9 grams of salt and 4.4 kilograms of fat. So Jack is actually having a healthier meal here. Hey. So as you can see, we have to cook in the microwave for 12 minutes on this one, nine minutes on this one. Uh, actually, no, Jack has to do a little divine intervention uh, and uh, stir the chicken in the gravy and then put in for another three minutes. So ideally, yeah, they're around about the same time. Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic. We make a meal of it, so you don't have to. Oh, you got a little food fact. Ooh. Food fact, food fact. Give it a read, Jack. This product may contain traces of nuts and seeds. Although every effort has been taken to remove all bones, some may remain. So I'm going to get a load of fucking gristle, basically, is what I'm saying. And the same applies to me. Gristle gang, gristle gang. So, let's get these bad boys in the microwave. Oh, they do look nice. I like that a lot. But I think I prefer this. Yummy, yummy, points. let's get it in my tummy! Carefully cut away and remove the film from the roast potato compartment, so only the potato. Sorry. Here's one I made earlier. So we're going to just do the old stab and cut. Oh god, it's strong stuff up. I don't want to like, you know, hurt the environment so I don't need knives. Now we have to paste the film in the other compartment so it looks like somebody needs a knife. Epic. <laughs> Place on a plate in the microwave and heat as per instructions below. So there's more instructions. Oh, right there. Okay. So I imagine yours is a knife. Yeah. Now don't, don't carefully shut the door. Oh, for God's sake! Can we redo that? Can we redo the you, thing, please? You can do it, mate. Dad, that wasn't me. That was Jack. I was just joking, Michael. Serbware. Childish Gambino, where did you come from? Oh, there he is! Tell us to, sub tell you to subscribe! Wow! Smack that! Dance! Smack that. Dance, boy! Wow! Also, this video is brought to you by Mars Boy Apparel. Buy it! I need the money! You are a pirate! We got us a map to lead us to a hidden Hunters. box! Now that's epic. Game of suck. Alright, you ready? So that's the first nine minutes done. Now we're going to put Brogan's in for 9 minutes and then we'll do the 3 minutes separately so we can both enjoy a nice meal together in our domestic household. It's important to eat with friends and family because it builds a sense of community. Good show. This is a learning show. Dad. Michael. Mm. Are you proud of your son? Yeah. Heal back and give a. Uh, that's my, oh that's my, my stuffing. <laughs> give that a bit of a. Oh, it is thick, isn't it? There we go. Oh wait, I can see the beef on the camera. I can't see it in real life, but I can see the beef just through the camera. Epic. Oh, mate. This is rank. Right, let's take it to the top secret <laughs> testing uh, facility. You can stop filming now! It's time for the eating ink. It is. Excuse me, Yoda. You don't want to be Get involved in out of here. <laughs> so what are we going to go with first? Because we've got similar dishes. Right, well, I think we should go for what's unique first, so I'd say we jump straight into the meat, and then I'll try my stuffing, and you'll try the Yorkshire. Right, okay. I'm talking... Oh. Would you like me to go first? Oh, God. Yeah, mate. Go on. Okay, chicken time. Yeah. I mean... Is it rubber? It's not that bad. It's not like the best chicken I've ever eaten, but... It's like a pepperoni, but it's beef. You don't want no yeah, beef. Wrong? You don't want no beef. You don't like the beef you get in sandwiches. Yeah, but it's like. Mm, let's try it. Oh, 
Oh, the mic trip. I'm going to try the stuffing. At first it's good, but then you keep chewing. It gets worse. It reminds me a lot of school dinner beef. I always, I always compare to the school dinner beef. The gravy's alright. The beef is not so bad, but you chew it for years. You now what, the stuffing is also a win. Ah, what? I wanted to take out the mashed potato, uh, the the uh, the Yorkshire pudding to see if the, the shape would stay the same. So let's test this. No, it doesn't. The gravy flows underneath it. That's that's good in my book. That's pretty good. So, happy with that. Have you tried your stuffing? Yeah, the stuffing's good. Let's try this Yorkshire. I like Yorkshire, so this will be. I'm going to be very harsh on this. But it's tried to be crispy at the top and soft at the bottom, but it ends up just being mushy at the bottom and like stale at the top. There's no crunch. This is alright. Oh Christ. Right, now onto the things I'm actually probably going to enjoy. Carrots, peas and potatoes. Potatoes I, are alright. Not the best potatoes I've ever eaten, but you know what. Carrots are okay. Could have probably been in a bit longer. Peas aren't bullets. They're quite soft. You get some that are a bit harder, but win some, you lose some. Now, the potato is what I'm most looking forward to, so I've got a great deal on me. Potato! That's good potato. Fan of that. This is this is the beef. It's not very nice. Chicken. It's not very nice looking. It's okay tasting. Good chicken you looks like tomorrow. chicken. Is it chicken breast? Did it say the thing? I think it is. Yeah. I mean, I'm down oh, with thigh. There yeah. You know. No, I mean like reformed chicken. Now, to be honest, this is the most boring part of the video, I reckon. No. Yeah. So I'm just kind of eating. Yeah, but whenever I'm editing, I'm always like, this is the most boring part of the video. So what? Meme this. What should we do? Meme it. To make it. Make a meme, Brogan. Make a meme team. out of that, Brogan. Yeah. Oh, it's ripping. Do you do, do you do writing? Uh, yeah, I kind of rate individual parts of the meal, so you know, the beef, the gravy, all that. Uh, and then an overall score. Am I writing it on ready meals or on life in general? Well, for a ready meal, I mean, you've got to kind of take into account certain things. Actually, for a ready meal, that was 10 10. Really? Yeah. You left the peas. I don't like peas. <laughs> <laughs> well. No, so like you. My stomach feels a bit dirty. Well, yeah, you're not a ten then, is it? Like a pot noodle, that's a ready meal. You don't feel dirty after eating that, do you? I do. I get it on my face. <laughs> <laughs> no, but <coughs> oh, I do feel kind of dirty. Losing. Uh, right, I guess the chicken, I'll give it like an eight out of ten for a ready meal because it's not like the chicken you get in like a in like a, a Sainsbury's or Marks and Spencer's own. You know, like chicken curry or whatever. You yeah. Know, the fancy, the the top of the range meal deals. Um, but it certainly wasn't awful. Um, maybe a seven then. Actually. Just seven, right? Fair yeah. enough. I'd probably give this a six because I liked everything apart. Well, I, I say I liked everything. I did like everything. The beef's okay. I'm not gonna have any more because yeah, beef yeah. I don't really want to. <laughs> the potatoes were lovely. Uh, it tasted okay though. I mean, and you know what? The stuffing. I mean, how. How hard is it to fuck up stuff in, to be fair, though? Yeah. Like, it's like, it's 50p for a fucking massive Save pack of it. Yeah, yeah, like, it's a 50p for like a massive pack of it at any shop. The only thing that I'm disappointed in is the Yorkshire pudding, really. It's very yeah. stale. I'm disappointed it had peas in it, so. But the gravy's really good on this. Yeah, I imagine, my gravy I imagine it's well, the same yeah. gravy. Maybe that's chicken gravy, this is yeah, beef gravy. It's beef stuff. 
Yeah. I, I rate it though. It's oh, yeah, I'll give it. I'll give it. I'll give it. I'll give it. Seven out of ten overall. For one eighty nine. Value for money. I'll give it about an eight. Value for money, I'd say it's it's up there. No. Wait, Bregan Smegger. Do you hear that? Knocking at the door. I do. <laughs> Let's go investigate. <laughs> What's that? Somebody likes it. It's okay, buddy. Eat up. Eat up. Let's get you. Let's get. Let's get you a bath. Yeah, let's get you nice and. It's okay, but oh god. Okay. Nice. Maybe we should leave him alone with it. There you are. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Let's go. Yeah, let's. Yeah, let's clear off from that. Yeah, that's not funny.